In this video we'll briefly discuss what is hydrocortisone and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, and contraindications and precautions. Hydrocortisone is a topical and systemic anti-inflammatory glucocorticoid. It depresses formation, release and activity of endogenous mediators of inflammation, including prostaglandins, kinins, histamine, liposomal enzymes and complement system. And it also modifies body's immune response. It is available as tablets, rectal suppositories and enema. Also available as injection, cream and ointment, and gel and lotion. So it is available in many formulations, and you may also find it combined with other active ingredients for various indications. Oral, intramuscular and intravenous hydrocortisone are used in the treatment of wide variety of chronic diseases including inflammatory, allergic, hematologic, neoplastic, autoimmune disorders, and adrenocortical insufficiency. And topical hydrocortisone is used for inflammation and pruritus, associated with various allergic or immunologic skin problems. Dosages of corticosteroids are variable, these should be individualized according to the disease being treated and the response of the patient. The usual oral dose of hydrocortisone for adults is 20 to 240 mg per day, in 1 to 4 divided doses. And the usual intramuscular and intravenous dose of hydrocortisone sodium succinate for adults is 100 to 500 mg every 2 to 6 hours. And the usual topical dose for adults apply to affected areas from 1 to 4 times daily, depending on preparation and condition being treated. Side effects of systemic use of hydrocortisone include fluid and electrolyte disturbances with possible edema and hypertension, hyperglycemia, osteoporosis, bone fractures, myopathy, menstrual irregularities, behavioral disturbances, poor wound healing, ocular cataracts, glaucoma, arrest of growth in children, hirsutism, and Cushing-like syndrome. Take medication with food to avoid gastrointestinal irritation. Do not discontinue hydrocortisone suddenly to avoid withdrawal syndrome. Diabetic patients should monitor their blood glucose closely. Patients should carry medical identification card at all times, describing medication being taken. And while using topical hydrocortisone, avoid contact with eyes, and avoid tight-fitting clothing on the treated area. Avoid mixing topical preparations with other agents unless advised by your healthcare provider. And notify your healthcare provider if the affected area worsens or develops irritation, redness, burning, swelling or stinging. That's all for this video, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.